Hello everyone, welcome to MS Power Automate. In today's video, I am going to show you everything you need to get started with Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. For those who are unaware, Microsoft announced earlier in March this year that they are going to make Microsoft Power Automate Desktop free for all Windows 10 users, which means that you are now able to download the app for free and start automating some repetitive work that you may encounter. So before I get started, let me go through what you will learn today. So first, you will be guided on how to download Microsoft Power Automate Desktop and how to install the app and install extensions for your web browsers to enable web automation. I will also be running through how to sign in and how to create your first flow on Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. Alright, so let's start with the first and second step. So first, you need to click on the link that is provided down below and it should direct you over to this page. Next, click on the download free button and once the file has been downloaded, click on the file to install it. Once that is done, you will be required to follow a few steps to successfully install the app. And here's what you'll see on the screen. Over here, you can click on the links that are provided if you would like to learn more about Power Automate Desktop. But for now, we will not go through it. Instead, click on Next over here to proceed to the next page. In this screen, you will get to select the features that you want to install. It is recommended to install the web driver and Chrome driver for Microsoft Edge. Also, take note that you will need to accept Microsoft Terms of Use before you are allowed to proceed with the installation. Once you are done, click Install. Take note that you will receive a prompt asking if you want to allow the app to make changes to your device. Click Yes to proceed. And once you are done with that, you should be seeing a screen like this displaying the progress of the installation. So it will take a while, so don't worry if it's taking too long. So once the installation is completed, you will see this page over here that states that your installation was successful. So there you have it. This is your first and second step, which is to download and install the app. So next, we will head on to the third step, which is to install extensions for your browser to enable web automation. So this will depend on your preferred browser of choice. So over here, click on the relevant link to install Power Automate extensions. This is necessary so that you can use Microsoft Power Automate Desktop to perform web automation within your preferred browser. But for me, I'll be clicking on Google Chrome. You'll see your Chrome browser open and all you have to do is to click on the Add to Chrome button over here. And when prompted like this, click on the Add Extension button. Once the extension has been successfully installed, you will see this notification over here. And this means that you have successfully installed Microsoft Power Automate extension for your browser. You may do likewise for Microsoft Edge and Mozzarella Firefox as required. And now that we are done installing extensions for your web browser, let me show you guys how to install the app and sign in to your Microsoft Power Automate account. So over here, you'll see the Microsoft Power Automate icon. So click on it and you'll be directed back to this page that states that your installation was successful. Click on the Launch Power Automate desktop over here. So now you'll be seeing this screen which will allow you to sign in to your Microsoft Power Automate desktop account. So signing in is a very simple and straightforward process. So all you have to do is to click sign in over here. Enter your email address. 
sign in and your password. So once you click sign in, you'll be directed over to this page here where you'll be asked to choose your country or region and select an option if you would like to receive occasional promotional emails. So next, click on the get started button. And when you see this screen over here, it means that you have successfully installed and signed into Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. So let's head on to the final step, which is to create your first flow. But first, let me explain what a flow is. In Power Automate, a flow is simply a series of actions that run in sequence. By defining and then executing these actions, you will be able to automate mundane tasks which was previously performed manually. So you will be seeing this page and you will have two options to click new flow, over here and over here. But for me, since I've already created a flow, my screen looks slightly different like this. So I will click on new flow over here. And you'll see this pop up. This will let you name your flow, which I will list as exercise 1 for now. And click create over here. So a new window should open like this. This is the flow designer where you can build flows. And to do that, you can drag and drop any of the available actions that you can find on the action pane on the left and drop them in the main workspace over here. So this, this pane on the left is the actions pane and this empty space here is the main workspace. So our first desktop flow will be Heather, a simple board that greets good morning. And to get started, type display message in the search toolbar on the action pane over here. You'll see display message over here that is highlighted. Click on this, hold and drag it to the main workspace. So this is a dialog box that opens and you can enter my first desktop flow into the message box title over here. And over here, in the message to display box, type good morning. And once you're done, click save over here. So the action is now displayed in the main workspace over here, as you can see. And to test this flow, click on the run button, which is at the top here. Once you have run the action, you should see the following message box. So over here, there's an icon. Click on it and you should see this. Click on the OK button over here to end the flow. So that's it. Congratulations, you've just created your first flow in Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. And before you exit, do remember to click the Save button to save this flow, which is over here. So now we are done, and this is how you get started with Microsoft Power Automate in less than 15 minutes. Hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for frequent updates and tutorials on Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. Find out more on our website at mspowerautomate.com and follow our socials which will all be linked down below.